Royal Thai Army Tank Commanders survey ahead from the turrets of the little known and seen Stingray Light Tank. The tankers are assigned to the Thai Army Stingray Tank Battalion and are preparing to take part in exercise Cobra Gold 2019 in the northeast area of Thailand. The Royal Thai Army has also deployed BTR 3 8 wheel drive armoured personnel carriers purchased from the Kharkiv Morozov Machine Building Design Bureau in Ukraine. The last of the initial order for 55 of these vehicles was delivered in 2017. The BTR 3, seen in the footage, have retained the Ukrainian camouflage schemes. Showing them during the Cobra Gold exercises are United States Marine Corps Abrams M1A1 main battle tanks assigned to 4th Tank Battalion. The Marine Corps tankers will practice firing maneuvers alongside their Thai counterparts operating the Stingrays. The 22.6 ton Stingray armed with an L7A3 105mm rifle gun able to fire 105mm NATO shells is a light tank produced by Textron Marina Land System Division, formerly Cadillac Gage, in the United States. You guys have your comm helmet on? The Stingray was specifically designed to use as many existing components of other American armored fighting vehicles as possible to keep costs down. The Stingray was a private venture project aimed at foreign countries. It was exported for use by armed forces of Thailand, who remained the only user which is very likely the reason that most people have never heard of the Stingray. The Royal Thai Army began testing the Stingray in 1988 and it began its service in the Thai Army in 1989. A total of 106 tanks were purchased with found delivery occurring in 1990. In 1992, the development of the Stingray 2 started. Its production was complete in 1994, with marketing promoted to friendly countries like Malaysia, Saudi Arabia and Taiwan up to 2003. Only two Stingray 2 tanks were ever produced, with none sold. In just over a year after this Cobra Gold exercise, in a move that stunned many Americans, especially military veterans, the United States Marine Corps began the process of disbanding all the tank battalions in late 2020. Commander of the Marine Corps, General David Berger, implemented the removal of all Marine Corps main battle tanks under his command as part of the Marine Corps' Force Design 2030 Modernization and Capabilities Realignment. The 4th Tank Battalion conducted its deactivation ceremony May 15th, 2021. I've added video footage of the ceremony at the end of this video. The little known Stingray light tank remains in service.
ให้ดึงให้ดึงเคลียร์ให้ดึงเคลียร์Please be seated. Throughout its illustrious history, Fort Tank Battalion has been awarded the Presidential Unit Citation with one Bronze Star, the Navy Unit Commendation Streamer, the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Streamer with four Bronze Stars, the World War II Victory Streamer, the National Defense Service Streamer with one Bronze Star, the Southwest Asia Service Streamer with two Bronze Stars, the Afghanistan Campaign Streamer with one Bronze Star, the Iraq Campaign Streamer with one bronze star, and the Global War on Terrorism service streamer. On 12 May 1943, the battalion was activated at Camp Pendleton, California as Fort Tank Battalion, 4th Marine Division, and deployed during January 1944 to the Pacific Theater, where it participated in the battles of Kwajalein, Saipan, Tinian, and Iwo Jima. Fort Tank Battalion redeployed during October 1945 to Camp Pendleton, California and deactivated 31 October 1945. On 2 July 1962, Fort Tank Battalion was reactivated in San Diego, California and assigned as Force Troops, Fleet Marine Force, United States Marine Corps Reserve. The battalion was once again reassigned 1 January 1978 to the 4th Marine Division. The battalion mobilized and participated in Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm in December of 1990 to March of 1991. Elements of Fort Tank Battalion have mobilized and participated in Operation Enduring Freedom Horn of Africa from March to September 2005, Operation Iraqi Freedom 2005 to 2010, and Operation Enduring Freedom Afghanistan 2009 to 2012. In accordance with Marine Corps Bulletin 5400, the Commandant of the Marine Corps has directed the deactivation of Fort Tank Battalion, 4th Marine Division, to be effective no later than 30 September 2021.